Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 must have Mac apps for 2020. These are apps that are actually very useful and will help you a lot on performing daily tasks on your Mac. Kicking things off with Space Launcher. This is an app that will allow you to easily open any file, folder or launch any of your apps using keyboard shortcuts. So once you have the app installed and you open it, you go ahead and tap on the status bar icon that you get. Tap on preferences and here's where you can set up your shortcuts. So you're basically using the space bar and any other key on the keyboard. You tap the plus button right here and you choose the shortcut. You will have all the different keys that you have on the keyboard right here. So let's choose A for this one. So the shortcut will be space bar A and go to no value here. Just tap on open URL and here we'll have the option to choose an application or a file or folder. So let's go to applications right here and I can go ahead and choose any of the applications. So here, if I choose calculator, click save, now I'm good to go. All I have to do on my Mac to launch calculator is tap the space bar and the A button and I'm good to go. You can see I have now opened the calculator using that shortcut. Next up, we have an app called Sensi. Now this app will show you everything you need to know regarding your Mac. And it also offers some very, very useful tools. Now on the dashboard here, you will see all kinds of different informations regarding your Mac. And then lower here, we'll see all the informations regarding the battery, the RAM memory, the CPU, the graphic cards, and all that. Now, if you go on the left side, you will have a few options options here. So you will have the optimize option. If you go here and view your items, you will basically see apps that will launch on the startup and all that. And you can configure, turn them off or on directly from here. Going to the uninstaller, you can scan for your apps here and it will basically show you a list of apps which are taking more space on your Mac. And from here, we'll have the option to uninstall them. So you just go ahead, select any app you want and you will have the option to delete them directly from here as easy as that. Now, if you go on the clean section here, it will show the same thing, but now it's showing files, not apps, but files that are taking a lot of space on your Mac. And from here, you can go ahead and delete any of them. Then you will have the hardware section. Here's where you can basically find information regarding the hardware of your Mac from the storage to the graphics, the battery and to the cooling system right here. So everything, all the different informations about the hardware of your Mac can be found right here. The next one is Panelicious. Now this app allows you to create extra docs on the Mac. So you will have the stock dock at the bottom, but you can have extra ones at the top, at the center, on the left side, on the right side, wherever you want it. So you just go to the icon on the status bar and you go to new panel, of course, if you want to create a new one and you will have it right here. You can place it anywhere you want and go to items, you tap the plus button and you will have the option from here to add any app you want. You can also add files or even folders and open them directly from there. Now you can change its size right here, the height, you can change the offset, the icon height right here. Everything can be changed from here and you will have different appearances to choose from light, dark, system one, very easy to manage. So if you're done here, just tap done. And then if you want to later manage these, like change their position or add apps, you go to manage panels. When you go to manage panels, you will have here all the different panels that you have created. You tap on the edit button and from here, then you will have the option to add like extra items or delete any of them, or of course change its position and the looks of this extra dock. Next up is an app called POC. This app allows you to customize the touch bar of your Mac. So if you have a Mac with a touch bar, then this will be very, very useful. It allows you to add all the icons from the dock that you have on the dock of your Mac on the touch bar and easily access them from there. Now on the status bar icon, if you tap there and go to customize, then you will have here the option to add things and remove things from the touch bar of your Mac. So adding things is very easy. You tap on the items here and just drag them down. So just drag them down here on the screen and they will be placed on the touch bar. So you can move them anywhere on the touch bar simply by dragging them and just releasing them anywhere you wanna place them on the touch bar as easy as that. You can have any items that you want on the touch bar. And here we'll have the dock. So if you have the complete dock there, you will be able to change between applications and launch applications directly from the touch bar. The next one is one of my favorites. It's called Night Alt. So basically it allows us to customize the dark mode and the light mode on your Mac. 
So once you have it installed, you will get this icon on the status bar. Now, if you tap with two fingers on the trackpad, you will be able to quickly enable dark mode. Tap with two fingers again on that icon and you will be able to invoke light mode. Now, if you tap on it, here we'll have some very interesting settings to set up. You will have, of course, the switch here between light and dark mode. You can set it sunset to sunrise or you can schedule it customly. So you just choose anytime you want to enable the dark mode and the light mode and it will be automatically changed now this lower here is very interesting always stay light any apps that you don't want to have dark mode on you just go ahead and choose them right here so even though your dark mode is enabled they will still be on the light mode and that's really really interesting and of course a very neat feature to have Next up is Coconut Battery. Now this is an app that will allow you to manage your battery and basically track the health of the battery. You can do that for your Mac or for your iOS device. So once you open the app and you go to this Mac, you will see here all the different information regarding your Mac and you will see here the Mac info and the battery info as well. So you can know basically the age of the battery, the load cycles, the day it was manufactured, you will see the temperature and all that. Then lower here we'll see some very, very interesting and important information you need to know regarding the battery of your Mac. Starting from the design capacity to the current capacity that's the battery health just like you have it on your iphone you will have it on your mac as well and you will see here everything that you need to know regarding the battery of your mac and this one is really interesting if you switch to the second tab and go to history then you can see here the history of the battery of your mac so you can basically see how it's progressing basically it's going down on capacity of course with every charge the batteries will basically go down on the capacity but that's how they work and you can manage them and of course see here the history and how the battery of your mac is doing now if you have an ios or ipad os device connected then you can go to ios device here and you will basically see the same information but now regarding the battery of the ios or ipad os device that you have connected the next app for the video is called Battery Status for AirPods. So if you use AirPods or the AirPods Pro with your Mac, then this is a must-have app. You will get this icon on the status bar and if you tap on it, you will get here details regarding the battery of your AirPods and of course the AirPods case as well. That's really important. So you will see the battery percentage for the left right AirPod as well as for the battery case. Now from here, you can refresh the devices to get the latest info and then if you go to preferences, this is very interesting. You can set up notifications. So this app will notify you if the battery of your AirPods drops at 10% or you can basically choose here any percentage you want. So with these sliders, you can have the left and the right AirPods set up to send you notifications once their battery drops. Next up, we have Stacks. Now Stacks is a really interesting app that allows you to manage your social media all in one place. So you basically get these stacks of cards where you have all the websites, social media websites, anything you need. So here I have two stacks. I have the first one right there and I have the second one here with my social media. And I have here my Instagram, Twitter, and I have Reddit as well. And I can of course go ahead and use them very easily all in one place. That's really, really awesome. And if you wanna add another card, you just tap the plus button and you will have some options here. You can add like messengers, emails, productivity you will have tech news basically will have a lot of stuff here that you can add to these cards or you can type a url or search on google there and add it to the stack right here now you can add add extra stacks so just tap the plus button right there on the left side and you can create another stack with like other stuff so you can have one stack with your show with your social media the other one with tech news for example the other one with messengers and all that all in one place using stacks Next up is PP Fire. Now this one will enable picture in picture on any website that doesn't support it. So here we're on YouTube. Of course, YouTube does support picture in picture, but I'm just playing this video to basically show out this app. So here we have an icon on the status bar of 
the Safari. Once you have played a video and it doesn't have the picture in picture mode, like in Facebook, for example, all you have to do is just tap right there and it will automatically enter the picture in picture mode. Then of course you can go out of the app and it will have still the video there. You can play it, pause it. Of course you can resize it right here and you can reattach it using this button. Of course you will have the X button right there if you want to close the video. And last but not least is an app called App Cleaner. Now this app allows you to easily uninstall apps from your Mac. So all you have to do is launch the app, just tap on any icon of any application and drag it right here to basically uninstall it from your device. Or you tap on the top right corner there and it will show you a list of all the applications that you have on your Mac. From here you can go ahead and select any one of them and of course go ahead and remove them from your Mac. Now, if you tap on one of the apps, it will show you all the different files of the app. And of course, will show you also the size of the app. From here, you can just tap remove and everything from that app, all the files that it contains and it has saved on your Mac will be removed. So that's it for this video, guys. This is my list of the top 10 must have Mac apps for 2020. These are apps that most of them are free and they're very useful at the same time. Now, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed any of these apps and you want to have them on your Mac, make sure you check out the pinned comment. You can find there the links to all of these apps. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Mac videos. Now we'll see you on the next one.